All right, so today we're going to be talking about setting up your language arts notebook for Miss Welton's class. You need to make sure that you have your three ring binder, your clear pouch to put your composition notebook in. So you also need your composition notebook. You need a manila folder. I probably already gave it to you. And you need a marker, probably a Sharpie marker. We have a couple in the classroom if you need one. All right, when you open your notebook to the first page, in the left-hand pocket will be all of your homework and to-do worksheets. Now, you're probably not going to have a lot of hard copies of worksheets once we begin turning things in online, but when you do, so that you remember to do them for homework, they need to go in the left-hand pocket. So if you'll take a Sharpie marker, it must be permanent so it doesn't smear, and if you'll write homework slash to-do on this pocket, please make sure it's in your best handwriting. If you need to pause the video to do that now, go ahead and pause. Okay, on the right hand side you're going to put your clear pouch. If your clear pouch does not have holes in it yet, I have two three hole punches in the classroom underneath the window. If you need to, you can pause the video, stand up, go get one of the three hole punches and punch three holes into your clear pocket. Once you've done that, you're going to take your composition notebook and put it inside your pocket. This is so that you don't lose your composition notebook and all the items that we'll be putting in our table of contents. Okay, go ahead and flip your pocket over to the left. This is where your manila folder is going to go. This is going to be called our flip book. Now you don't need to write flip book on here. I'm just telling you what it's called in the video so you know what we're going to be calling it in class. This is what you need your index cards for and also your clear tape. If you don't have index cards with you right this second and if you don't have clear tape, go ahead and pause the video, get your index cards, get your clear tape, come back and be ready to make your flip book. Okay, your flip book is going to consist of many index cards. If you'll notice, the index card is turned upside down because the red line is across the bottom of the index card. So make sure you turn your first index card upside down. All right, once you've done that, go ahead and line up the left-hand side of your index card with that first hole that your binder has at the bottom. And then I want you to take a piece of tape. You can barely see it in here, but here it is. Okay, and tape down that index card on the left side of your manila folder. All right, your second index card goes to the right of your first index card. And the right-hand side of your second index card needs to not go off the edge of your folder. Here's the edge of your folder. So just make sure that the right hand side is not touching the edge of your folder. Okay, make sure it's upside down and that the two red lines line up with each other. And then go ahead, take your second piece of tape and tape that card down right there. Again, make sure it's upside down and make sure that the two red lines are right in line with each other. Okay, here's where it can get a little bit tricky, so pay attention. You're taking your third index card, and remember, you're lining it up on the right, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, on the left-hand side with that hole again. Okay, make sure it's upside down. But the bottom part of the index card is going to just be touching the red line of the other two index cards. Do you notice how it's just touching the red line? Make sure the bottom of the index card is just touching the red line of the other index cards and that it's on the left hand side of your notebook, not the right. Okay, once you've done that, make sure you put your piece of tape on there again, and you've got your third index card in your flip book. 
Okay, here's your fourth card. The fourth card lines up on the right hand side right here with your other card. Make sure it's on the right hand side of your folder and not on the left hand side. And then again, like we said with the other card, make sure that the bottom of this card lines just up with the red line of the card underneath it. So it lines just up with that red line. If you can't see it, here's the edge of your fourth card. Okay, once you have that in, you're going to put a piece of tape right there and tape your fourth card down. For the next couple of cards, you're going to repeat the process on the left and then the right. All right, so you're going to be stacking your index cards just like I showed you all the way up on the left and all the way up on the right of your manila envelope. All of these cards are going to be used for our flipbook words. If you're having any trouble, if you're in my first period, you can ask me or Miss Huff. If you're in my second, sixth, or seventh period, that's what I'm here for, to help you guys. All right, when you're done stacking your index cards on your flipbook, go ahead and flip your manila envelope to the left. Make sure you have some paper in here in case we do any activities with paper. If you don't have any today, don't worry about it. You can always put it in your notebook later. And then on the back, go ahead and take that Sharpie marker again, and I want you to write completed work and work to turn in. This is where you can leave any completed work that you're ready to turn in in the back pocket of your notebook. Great job. Hopefully your notebook is in order and you're ready to go for the year.